Hey guys, Robert again from Australian Camping Four Wheel Drives. Today we're uh, going to uh, fix up these extra lights we've just added to the, uh, the vehicle here. And uh, we went and bought some uh, uh, some switches from Lightforce. I thought I'd show you them. They have these, uh, these little switches here that you can purchase. And uh, some of the beauty about these little switches is you'll see on, on them, see on the top there says uh, compressor, and the other one, bottom one says side lights. Might be a bit hard to see there, hey? But uh, part of the beauty about some of the things you can do with Lightforce is you can actually order your own switches. They've got a website called Custom Switches. And I'll put the URL up on the screen there for you now. And you can go there and you can actually order your own customised switches uh, for, your, for your setup. And they've got different switches there for Fords, Holdens, Toyotas, all these different types of vehicles there, hey. So like if you want to have you know, some type of switches set up in your vehicle, you can go there and you can order um, uh, some switches from them uh, that are customised to your particular setup. They already have some that are pre-made, you know, that you can buy straight off the shelf. But uh, I, don't know, I thought that was a really good idea. What I'm doing here today, I actually ordered a, um, a whole fascia for the Ford. Uh, and in that fascia, I actually put in extra switches. I'll show you what I've got here. So uh, I've actually just pulled the fascia out there at the moment. And uh, just down the bottom down here, we've actually got uh, three, uh, well actually it's almost four, five different switches sitting there. Uh, we've got two over here. We've got our, our front driving lights and our, um, our light bar that's up on top of the vehicle there as well. And uh, these are the ones that came with it. It's just like a power and a kangaroo, uh, which to me didn't make much sense for my situation anyway, because I wanted one for our compressor. So we've got our compressor there and our side lights as well. And so the top one's actually the compressor and the bottom one's the side lights. So we're actually just going to pull that out and just replace it. It's really easy to do. Uh, on these switches, I'll just pull this out here quickly. You'll see down there they've got this green plug. The green plug is actually this part here. And uh, it's just got a little clip on the side there. That you pull down and the whole thing just pulls straight out. And then the switches themselves, I'll show you that as well. So on the switches themselves, they've got these little clips here that you can just see just on the side on this switch. And you just push that out and the whole switch just pops out. So it should be relatively easy to do. So uh, yeah, so we'll give that a go and I'll show you how we went. Okay, so I've managed to uh, put the switch in. It's really easy to do, guys. Uh, but I thought quickly I'd show you how this thing comes in and out, hey? Because there might be some people out there that might have the light force panel or they might be looking to put in a light force panel and they're wondering how to get the thing out in and out, hey? It's pretty simple. Uh, I'm doing this backwards, so you'll, you'll just have to do it the opposite direction. But uh, there's two screw holes here, guys, and uh, one on either side. You line those suckers up, and just down the bottom down here, you'll see just down in there, there's a little little uh, uh, plug hole where the little bit of plastic just clips straight into. So you've got to do that. And uh, then the last thing are these panels. So uh, these panels actually just come off the, uh, the vehicle as well. And uh, these actually just go straight in here. So I'll just show you that. They go straight in there, and to get the suckers out, you've got to grab underneath. So put your hand underneath there, like, like that. Right underneath it and pull it. Just pull it straight towards you. Not on an angle, pull it straight. And uh, the, the panel will come out. There's a fair bit of, you've got to put a bit of oomph into it, guys, to get the thing out. And uh, yeah, it'll come straight out, and then you'll be able to uh, get the panel out. But I'm gonna quickly put this back together, and uh, I'll show you once we're done. Okay, so we've screwed it all together, and uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how they work. It's pretty simple, eh? Uh, just down here, you'll see uh, we've got the light switches sitting down there, and uh, essentially all you do, you just push on your button to turn your light switches on and off as you need to. Uh, just get the engine on, because uh, you'll see all the lights come on there. So there we go, we've got the lights on down the bottom down there and uh, when you turn them on, they, they change colour, so this one goes green. And the top one, which is our compressor, goes green too, and you hear that compressor just kick in just then. So, just a matter of just turning them on and off from here. These ones are our uh, spotties at the front, which I normally leave those ones on uh, most of the time, so when you're driving, hit that and they come on, the little light here flicks on and off. And the same thing, this is the light bar, which is on the roof, it does the same thing. So have them both on or both off, it's up to you, you know, one on, one off. Uh, I'll show you how this one works, you push these on, and uh, then just around here, just up there, well, that's bright, <laughs> you've got your lights. And so we've got one on either side. So I've got one up there on either side. 
these are the um, these are the hardcore lights. Um, I don't know, I was trying to find something that would suit and uh, having a look around, I managed to find these guys. We'll give them a go, see what they're like. Seems to be okay. The beauty about this is later on if I want to add extra lights, it's really easy. You just manage to just, um, they've got a little plug on the back of them. I just put a double adapter in and just run off another one. So uh, the current's not that high. So a really good idea, guys. So uh, yeah, so when we're pulling to camp or if you're driving down the side of the road, you want to see something on the side of the road, just flick that button on and put the side lights on for you. Uh, the beauty about these two, you can actually turn them around. So you've got this uh, little uh, pivoting section here so you can move them around um, if you want to as well. And uh, yeah, that's a great idea too. All right, guys, I thought I'd just show you quickly just what we've done with the, some of the lights on the car. Hope that's been a help to you. If you've got any questions, pop them down in the comments below, and we'll see you next episode. All right, guys, thanks for that.